This is embarrassing. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Ashley. Today I'm going to be tackling my closet and I'm going to be doing a huge declutter because as you can see, it's an absolute mess. There's clothes just thrown right in there. There's no organization at all and there's clutter all over the floor and all over the shelves. I've not properly cleaned out my closet since I was probably like a freshman in high school and that was like four years ago because I graduated as a senior this year. So I know it looks like there's a ton of clothes in here but it's pretty much everything that I've bought over the last like four years. So today I'm going to be taking it all out like I said and I'm going to be trying every single item on. So my main goal is to sort the clothes into three categories, what I want to donate, what I want to sell, and what I want to keep obviously. And so I'm going to be trying on almost everything. The only things I'm not going to be trying on are the things that I wear like every single day or the things that I know for sure don't fit me and that I do want to donate. And so there's going to be a ton of work to do and this is probably going to take me like a couple days. <laughs> so let's get to it. dressed to homecoming this year and I don't know if I'm ever gonna have another place to wear it but this is like my favorite homecoming dress I've ever had so I'm keeping it for that sole purpose. I do really like this one I think it's super cute with that cheetah dress from earlier like layered over it and I think it's just like a nice staple to have too you know. I really really love this dress I think it's so cute in like fall to like put a t-shirt on top of or like layer something underneath it and I just think I'll definitely be wearing it a lot this year so I'm gonna be keeping this one I honestly love this dress I the pockets are so cute and I just love like the fit of it and like layer something under or like jacket over anything like that and the print I just think it's so cute, so I'll definitely be keeping this one. This is literally my favorite dress of all time, I think. But this is my favorite color, and I think like the just like whole thing is so cute. Honestly, it makes me so uncomfortable because it shows off so much of my chest, and I'm just like not someone who does that. Like I always put a t-shirt under stuff. But like I'm just trying to be more comfortable and more confident and it is so cute. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. The next thing is this dresser. It is from Walmart. It's very crappily built by me and so the drawers aren't really holding up all of my clothes. I have a ton of jeans in here. They just go down forever and then the drawer like doesn't close. I don't even have them all in there because it won't close. Then I just have like pants, pajama pants, everything like that in one drawer together. Next I have like my shorts and skirts and like athletic shorts. It's all just like an absolute mess as you can see. And lastly, I just have like my t-shirts, um, strapless shirts that I don't want to hang up. Everything like that is all just in this bottom drawer and is a complete mess. I've had all of these shorts in a stack in my closet for an entire year. Literally last summer I tried them all on and none of them fit and I was going to donate them and I never even got to it. So I have all of these that I'm going to be donating to. These are my favorite shorts right now. They just fit me really well and I just think they're so cute and like trendy. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping these on. I bought this skirt because I was gonna do a thrift flip with it and then I just never got around to doing it and it honestly doesn't even fit me that well. So I'm definitely gonna be donating this one.
I totally forgot I had this skirt. Like I remember wanting a jean skirt so bad and I couldn't find one that I liked. But honestly, this one is so tight that I literally can't pull it down. And like it is so short. I'm gonna just be keeping all of like my athletic shorts because I wear these all the time. At this point, I had been trying on clothes for almost three hours, and this was the only expression I had on my face. I sat here for a little while, contemplating life, and then I decided I would continue on the next day. I bought these ones because I was going to do a thrift flip with them because they're like Levi's. Um, but I don't like, I don't like how short the waist is and I don't really like the fit of the jeans either way. Like even to make them into shorts, I just don't think they're like a high enough waist so I'm going to be donating these. These ones I did like and I wore them for a while all the time except for now um, they're just like too tight. And I have another pair of black skinny jeans that I wear like way more often. So if I ever wanted to wear them, I would just wear those. So for that reason, I think I'm just gonna be donating them. I'm gonna be donating these ones just because like this part is so tight that I like literally can't breathe in them, so. <laughs> hated these jeans since the day I got them. I don't know why I still have them. They don't even fit. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be donating these. I honestly do like these jeans. I thrifted them. I like painted the checkerboard on them, but I just... I'd never find myself wanting to wear them. I think I'd probably only wear them like once or twice during the summer and then probably not really again after that. So I think, I think I'm gonna be donating them. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is the donate pile. This is insane now that I'm looking at it. I had no idea that I had like this many jeans and that this is only the donate pile. Um, <laughs> I'm just like, I'm happy that I'm getting rid of so many though because I just want to let someone else enjoy them because they just don't really like fit the wardrobe that I'm going for and I know I really won't get that much use out of them. And then, and then these are the ones I'm keeping. I do have like probably three more pair that are in the wash right now that I'm keeping because I wear them all the time. But yeah, for the most part, this is what I'm keeping. Okay, now I'm going to be trying on, like, outerwear, and I know this probably seems like a really easy one, but especially, like, this year, I just bought a ton of fall clothes because I realized that, like, literally from when school starts until, like, March, <laughs> I, like, have to wear, like, winter clothes. And I got to this realization that I literally have no summer clothes. I have, like, three pair of shorts that fit. I have, like, a few tank tops. And like, so I definitely am gonna be needing to stock up when I do go like thrifting. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna have to go through all my outerwear. I've had this jacket since I was a freshman and it literally is so tight. Like, look it. Like, I can't even, my armpits are so, this part, like my elbow is so tight. So, <laughs> I'm donating this one. Okay, this one I'm definitely keeping. I've always, like for like years, have loved when people wear like blazers with like jeans and like a turtleneck or something. I definitely will be wearing it all the time in the fall. Okay, this one is so cute. It has little stripes on it, but I hate this is a large okay and i'm usually i usually wear like a small and i just think it's still too cropped like it just 
like okay these shorts are fine because like they are really high waisted but I feel like when I'm trying to wear a lot of things with this jacket it just like is too cropped to wear like the waistband's a little lower or like the shirt I'm wearing is just like too low and I just think it's not as cute as it could be and so I'm gonna be donating it. This jacket is the love of my life. It is Levi's as you can see um, but it is literally so distressed. It was my dad's jean jacket when he was in high school and he said it used to be like really dark like really dark denim and like that's how light it is from like just being worn so much and it is literally so comfy because it's so broken in like I feel like they're always so stiff but like this literally feels soft on the inside like the denim is soft to me so <laughs> I definitely am keeping this one. This pink fuzzy jacket is my favorite thing ever. Um, I don't care if they go out of style. I will wear this for the rest of my life. <laughs> it is just so cute to me. And I'm just like, I just wore it so many times. But I think even for like, right now I guess it's kind of summer, but even with like a dress underneath it and like this over top, like, you know what I mean? Just like layered on top, I still think it would be so cute. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. This one, I love. It gives me major, like, that 70s show vibes. Like, I feel like Kelso, like, wore something like this. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. This one, I think, is so cute. The, like, shoulders have, like, a little lace detail on them. But it literally doesn't fit at all, and I know if I'm gonna try it on, I probably won't get it off. Look at how tiny the like sleeve is, like for your armpit. It literally is so small, but it's so cute. So I'm gonna be donating this one. The amount of clothing items that I own that are this color is kind of sad, but it's my favorite color, so I'm definitely keeping this one. The sweater is just so like oversized and I think like tucked into jeans is just the cutest. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. These Christmas sweaters, I think I got when I was in like seventh grade. And like every year I've just like tried to wear them because I think they're cute. They're from Forever 21, except for they don't fit. <laughs> and so like the armpits are so unbelievably tight. So I definitely am gonna be donating these ones this year. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is all of the shirts that were in my closet. Just the shirts alone. And there are this many of them. I will not be counting them out of pure. That would just be so embarrassing. Um, but I have to go through them all. And I'm not trying them on. Because there's there's too many. And I know, I feel like I know most of them if they fit or not. So I guess I'm just going to have to go through them all now. This is what I was dreading. There's just so much. And it's just so overwhelming. But I'm not getting out of this bed until I go through every single one of them. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> okay, now I have 300 hangers. I have a pile of shirts I need to fold and put away, and sweaters and stuff. I have a huge pile of dirty clothes. Um, that's irrelevant, that's just also in here. <laughs> and then I have the most massive pile of clothes to donate that is blocking my door to get out of my room. 
Not sure how I uh, thought that was a good idea, but that's, that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so now I'm at the sell and donate. And so basically I have these two bins i'm gonna have one for like what i'm gonna try to bring to like plato's closet or like a consignment store like that like selling and then this one i think is just gonna be the donate okay here's how the closet's looking um i have a bunch of stuff i need to just like go through and throw away i already went through all the stuff that was chilling on this um i have this whole corner <laughs> and then i just put my dresses and like my jackets back up but i'm definitely gonna be moving them i think over here and then, yeah, I still have all this stuff I have to go through too. Found the closet and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I can actually fit my laundry basket in here, which is really cool because forever it's just been sitting in my room in another part. I put some of my favorite shoes here. The reason this is staying is because this is actually a sewing machine that my mom's friend gave me and it actually doesn't work, but I still wanna keep it just because she did give it to me. And then the rest of the drawers is like my sewing stuff and stuff like that, so I will be keeping it. And then over here, I have all my jackets and sweatshirts and everything like that. And I know all of the hangers are different, but I tried to keep them all black and white because I thought that would look so much better than like the random colored ones. But I just didn't have enough of just the white hangers to be able to do them all. Then up here, I have all my like flannels and all my long sleeve shirts. And this is just like a smelly thing. And then I have my organization up here. I got these bins at Hobby Lobby. And then I have had these ones forever. And then I just have my graduation cap on top. And then over here I have all my tank tops and t-shirts. And then my dresses are all in the corner. They're totally different too. I can actually fit all of my jeans. And there's actually so much extra room in like my pants drawer. And then I still have extra room too in like my shorts and skirts drawer. And then I took all of my t-shirts out of my closet, all the ones that I don't just wear, and then I put them all in here too to save space in my closet too. And then over here where I had all my sweaters, I was able to fit them into just two of the little shelves. And then on the bottom one, I was able to put all of my sweatshirts too. All right, and that is it guys. That is the end of the first part of my wardrobe rebuild series, the closet clean out. And I think my closet looks 100 times better. It is way cleaner and I think you guys could definitely see that through the video. So just let me know if you like this video and if you're looking forward to the rest of this series. I want to do some videos where I go thrifting for new clothes and then like a haul and then like a final like what clothes I'm bringing to college with me and like how I rebuilt my wardrobe. So stay tuned for those and be sure to let me know if you enjoyed this video by either commenting below or leaving a like or anything. And if you're looking forward to new videos from me, make sure to subscribe so you can see them. Thank you.